Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to add text to the beginning and the end of multiple cells, nice and quickly. We look at three different methods. First of all, custom formatting, then flash fill, and then concatenation. Let's start with custom formatting. For this, I can select the cells that I want to add the text to. And then I need to get to format cells. So various ways of doing that. You could right click and go to format cells. But what I tend to do is use the shortcut key control one. So you get your format cells dialog box. And what you want to do is go down to custom. In the type box, replace whatever is in that box with the at symbol. And that's the placeholder for text in your custom formatting. Now, if you want to prefix your text to the left of that act character you type your prefix text so i'm going to say prod dash and i put that within quotation marks double inverted commas and if you look in your sample box you can see that it's put those characters in front of our product id then if you want to suffix the value with something then after the at symbol Again, use speech marks and you write your characters in. So I'm putting dash hash enclosed in double inverted commas. So if I click on OK, you can see it's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Now, if I copy that format into another cell, so I'll use the format painter to do that. And I started typing into those cells. Let's just type my name you can see that it applies the same prefix and suffix characters. Okay, let's move on to the second solution. And that uses flash fill. Now flash fill, you can't apply the changes to the original values. You have to create additional columns or an additional column. And what you want to do is start off with an example of what you want to achieve. So in this one here, I'm prefixing the first product ID with P-R-O-D dash. Then what I'm going to do is use flash fill. There's two ways I can get to flash fill. I can go to the data tab on my ribbon and use the flash fill button here. But you can see in the screen tip there that there is a shortcut key control E. So if I use control E here, you can see that it replicates that pattern down the rest of the product IDs. If for whatever reason, it doesn't get it quite right, go to the first example where it's not quite right and just correct it. And hopefully then it will correct any other errors that it's made. It'll work the same if I want to suffix the values with dash hash. If we use control E here, it does the same thing. Okay, let's move on to the last option. And that uses concatenation, joining things together. So what I would do here to prefix the value with P-R-O-D dash, the type equals, I'm creating a formula. And in quotation marks, I write the text that I want to prefix my value with. And then I'd use the ampersand symbol. And the ampersand symbol is used to join text values together. Just reference B3. And then I can copy this down. Now it will also work if I want to suffix the value with dash hash. What I would do is I'd say equals product ID in B3 ampersand and then the characters. And you can see it does the trick. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful to you. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.